The mechanical landscape is a world that moves through stages of clarity and stages of chaos in a circular manner. It does not follow the logic of our world. It is the territory of the machine. The mechanical landscape is an exploration of the machine outside of the agenda and constraints of our world. My name is Monique Poussin and welcome to the mechanical landscape. The one minute film is the genesis of the mechanical landscape. As I explored the site of the harbour, the larger than life machines grabbed my attention. I experimented with reducing their mass, subtracting parts of the machines, only to leave fragments behind. Removing the data from the image allowed the site to come together. As the machines broke down, they merged into their surroundings, birthing the mechanical landscape. In the film, the landscape will blur just before a big shift is about to happen. The viewer can experience the landscape changing from behind the blur, but the obscure image leaves the viewer to speculate on what exactly is happening behind this haze. From this film, I created stills. I started to layer the machine fragments to distort the landscape and bring it away from the recognisable harbour site. The weightless nature of this scene interested me. The landscape was able to function outside of our world's laws of physics. In version 2.0, I moved into drawing, tracing the stills I had created in the previous version. Drawing gave me more control. I was able to multiply, mirror and overlap the image to create one long mechanical landscape. A density developed within the drawing. By using only one drawing and multiplying and overlapping it across the page, it had given the drawing a sense that it is unfolding and created the feeling that it is an evolving landscape. To further explore this drawing, I digitally traced it and then exploded it into its individual mechanical parts. I then catalogued these parts, each one rich with complexity, and used them to create new machines that served no function for mankind. These machines were a way to move away from the original harbour site, a site that was built for the purpose of man, and into the mechanical landscape, a landscape for the purpose of machine. The final version of the mechanical landscape is built on the bones of version 1 and 2. The catalogued parts of version 2 are the seeds that the mechanical landscape grew from. The original fragments, rich with detail and complexity, grew and evolved into new machines. The language of the mechanical landscape is borrowed from architectural and mechanical documentation. Conventional architectural and mechanical documentation function to assist a building contractor to construct a building or machine based on design intent. These documentation types have their own language that helps communicate the design intent in a clear and concise way. The language helps to communicate the design. However, these drawings are not the end product of the design. They only allow the user to visualize the final product.
The mechanical landscape reimagines documentation as the final design, not a mere representation of the end product. Every line that is produced in the drawing is part of the terrain that makes up the environment of the mechanical landscape. The language of documentation, such as dotted lines, arrows, and hidden geometries, are no longer drawing tools. They are part of the territory. The mechanical landscape is created by a search for understanding, an exploration of the machine that leaves a trail across the page. A machine that exists within the landscape will rotate, be cut through, explode, and transform within this dynamic environment, each time a new part of the mechanical landscape is mapped out on the page. It is a fine balance between order and chaos. A new drawing is created to bring order and understanding to the machine, but as the drawing begins to transform, an environment of chaos is left in its wake. There is a transparency present in the mechanical landscape that is not possible in our world. Each layer has a level of transparency, but as the elements in the landscape begin to layer on top of one another, an opacity is created. All of the layers fade into the background, and the new information is able to become the main focus of the drawing, until a new layer is added and the process continues. In the first version of the mechanical landscape, the video, the landscape would change behind a hazy screen so that the viewer could sense the shift in the scene, but they could not experience the detail of the transformation. In this final mechanical landscape, the evolution of the machine becomes the landscape. The way the machine unfolds is sliced through, moves, explodes, it's all documented and is left permanently on the page. The function of the machine is inconsequential. The significance of the mechanical landscape is in the language that it has developed, and the way this language is used to document the continuously evolving machine. As you move through the mechanical landscape, layer by layer, the logic of its progression is clear. But as you take a step back and look at the landscape altogether, the complexity, density, and chaos of the landscape becomes apparent. This is the mechanical landscape.